Look, I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have sounded off the other day. From now on, I'll mind my own business. About time. Oh, I hate falling out. So do I. Well then, mates again? Well, I suppose it isn't everyone who offers to make me a cup of tea and a tea sandwich. Who mentioned a sandwich? Those are my terms. Mm. Hi. How's it going? Fine. A complaint? Anything you want to talk to me about? Oh, you mean? Honey, uh, Marlon's been spreading rumours. Do you know anything about that? I... I might have said something to him. Said what exactly? Sounds like you already know. I'd rather hear it from you than second hand. You see, I love my dad. He loves me, so uh, I'm a bit confused by all this. It's just... Sometimes I don't think he treats Andy properly. I see. Why don't we ask him? Dad, would you say I've been mistreating you? Of course not. Can be truthful, I won't mind. Everything's fine. Really. You must have got the wrong idea. I see. Sorry. You're sorry? You go around the village accusing me of goodness knows what, and you're sorry. I want you out of my house. You're sacking me. What did you expect? I haven't been gossiping. You told Marlon that was bad enough, now get out before I throw you out! It was harsh. I don't want you talking to her again. Megan came round this morning. Why didn't you tell me about her offer? Yeah, but I did. But you didn't tell me how generous it was. Does it really matter? Meg sent some money off that lot anyway. No. Oh, I've already said yes. What? what are you talking about? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. This is my farm. I get to make the big decisions around here, not you. Oh, really? Because I'm sorry, I got the impression your contribution was just lying in bed feeling sorry for yourself. I had just lost your dad. Yeah, and I hadn't. And for a while, I couldn't go. And yes, I was relying on you. But you should have told me what she was prepared to pay. I was just doing what was best. No, you were being petty. We are not turning down good money for a couple of fields that we could easily do without. Dad would never have let him near our land. Your dad's gone. Now, I know that is hard to accept, but we have to move on. Well, I think I'll go across to the cafe. No. Aren't I even allowed a cup of tea? You know where the kettle is. Hi. Hi. How'd you get on? Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, uh, Jay and Nikhil are out for lunch, so I'm on a biscuit run. You're right, Sandy. No worse than usual. <laughs> um, did you manage to speak to Rachel? It's all sorted out. She won't be bothering us again. He sacked her. It was more a mutual parting of the ways. Well, I don't blame you after what she did. Besides, why spend good money on a cleaner when we can keep it within the family? No one cleans a bathroom as thoroughly as you do. <laughs> yeah, years of practice. Well, I best get back before those boozy boys return from lunch. Um, Sandy. If there was anything troubling you, you would tell us, wouldn't you? Good. Good. See you later. Yeah. I thought you were putting the kettle on. Same again, lads? No, thank you. I've got a sick cow waiting for me. I went to speak to your missus. Oh. You try saying that to Roller's face, if you dare. Chas is dead excited, by the way. You are? About your new fella. Oh, not you and all. He's really fit. Too fit for our harem. You are? 
He stood you up, mate. Yeah, that or he's coming here and seeing you two crowding around me like a couple of soppy girlfriends and decided to do one. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, shouldn't you be at work? I thought you wanted me to take you to the physio. No, I think you can manage, thank you very much. Are you going to physio? Look, it's not a big deal. Are you still here? All right. <laughs> I'm sure he's got a good excuse for not turning up. Hey, Ed, are you stop going on about it? Hi. Uh, it's just too good a chance to miss. I can't believe you're in love with Megan. She thinks you're a slapper. No one's <laughs> going to argue with that. Whatever happened to you staying out my face? Just ignore him. I'll have a beer and a vodka tonic. Yeah. Please, there. Uh. Right. Hey, it's just playful banter. You can't tell me you're not tempted to invest. I haven't read the small print yet, have I? Well, fine. I'll handle that side of things. It's our way in, OK? Don't blow it. Mutual parting of the ways. <laughs> what? If Floral could have seen the way you shout in the that poor girl. Oh. Is that a threat? <laughs> Relax, I shan't tell her anything. I'm sorry, you, you think you're doing me a favour? You're my son. I love you despite what you may think. When have I ever needed your love? Why are you being like this? Isn't it obvious? If anyone's to blame for having to let Rachel go, it's you. You sit there like you're some kind of grand patriarch. You're not. You're an old man who can't tie his own shoelaces. I won't be spoken to like this. I let you live here as an act of kindness. Kindness! Don't start taking it for granted. You're not on today, are you? No. Here, I'll get that. Why? Just a thank you, after what you did for Holly. How's she doing? Good, yeah. Cheers. Thanks for that. He wrecks our lives and you're buying him a drink now. Don't start. What are you laughing at? I tell you what. Next time, I'll leave your druggy sister to choke to death, shall I? Sorry, what did you just say? I told you, go and wait in the car. Listen to your mummy. Don't push me. <laughs> All right, tough man, yeah. I mean it. Behave yourself. This is a joke. What would Dad say, eh? I'll be two minutes. Go on. I think I just touched a nerve. <laughs> Don't push it, Kane. You need a drink. Oh, no, I better not. Still lots to do. Andy can cope for an hour or two. Yeah, Adam can. I want to get him home as soon as possible. Probably wise. The thing is, I hate doing this to you, Diane. But I think I need to give you my notice. Doing the odd shift here, it's a nice break for you. I, I can't afford breaks. You see what happens as soon as my back's turned for a second. Just waiting for Hannah to go off the rails next. That's not going to happen. She's a good kid. Uh, well, that's my point. They're kids, and they need me. More than ever now that John's gone. It's not going to be easy for you. I don't expect it to be. But I've got to keep this family together. Whatever it takes. Rachel, wait. Now what? I feel I may have been a bit harsh with you. You mean sacking me for no reason? My dad and I, we fall out from time to time. What families don't? I guess. All the same, I was wrong to overreact like that. And, uh, look, um, I want you to take this. It's, um, it's what we owe you. Um, plus an extra week in lieu of notice. You think you can bribe me? That's not what I'm doing. I don't want your money. You've earned it, please. No, Dad. No matter what you think you've seen, my dad's fine. He told you that himself, didn't he? Maybe. There you go, then. We've all got enough problems without inventing new ones, right? documentary Return to the Falklands takes an emotional look at the human side of war and also the captivating beauty of the islands as well. That's tonight at nine. Or off to the new forest in search of more culinary delights in Countrywise Kitchen next. Bet 
365bingo.com. Sponsors Emmerdale. A new case that forces what once was buried. He killed my son! Back into the light. They're never getting rid of me. And this time... Jones is also on the list. There's much more at risk. You're a target, Ben. I can't afford to make a mistake. Brand new Midsummer Murders. Wednesday at 8 on ITV1.